Hey guys, Tammy here, and uh, Daryl's back with me, okay? He wanted to be here for this, because today we're at Arby's, okay? And listen, I know you guys are thinking, Tammy, Daryl, you guys just did a Arby's mukbang a couple months ago. Well, they didn't have a, a burger then. And everybody's been saying, Tammy, try the Arby's burger, try the Arby's burger. So that's what we're here doing, okay? But first, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AdamandEve.com. Okay? You guys know AdamandEve.com is, well, my favorite website. <laughs> because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, hmm, what other websites, number one, give me a discount, number two, give me free shipping, and number three, help me bust a nut? And I couldn't think of one. Okay? That's right. AdamandEve.com is giving you guys 50% off almost any one item plus free shipping. All you got to do is use code TAMMY. Okay? I'm going to put all the info down below in the description. You guys, they got sex toys, uh, sex chairs, uh, dildos, butt plugs, nipple clamps. I mean, they got everything you're going to need. Okay, and they're giving you guys 50% off. That's a pretty good, damn good discount. It is. Okay, so go to adamandeve.com and get your shit to help you bust a nut. Okay, and uh, it really helps out our channel and it helps out uh, me and Daryl being able to do these mukbangs. All right, now, Daryl, you ready for Arby's? I thought you were going to say muck stank because you said I smell horrible. Huh? Just Are you ready for Arby's? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to eat. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Well. I'm going to find some Arby's to start when you're ready. How you doing? I'm uh, good now. What's that good for you? Um, I'm going to get a few things, okay? Okay. Give me that uh, beef and cheddar. Would you like a meal? Yeah, give me the meal. And you want the classic, right? Yes, or please. Half Let's do the classic. Small, medium, large. Uh, large with a strawberry lemonade. And a curly fried wrinkle fries. Curly. And you want a large size also? Yes, please. Okay. Let's do the mozzarella sticks, the six piece. Okay. Oh. And then y'all got that burger? They must have got rid of it already? Y'all got rid of it? Uh, we don't have a burger anymore. Well. Fuck us, huh? Okay, give me one second here. So she's gonna be disappointed. Uh, I'll take the, uh, ma'am, I'd like the buffalo chicken wrap, please. Would you like a meal also? Uh, no, thank you. Just, okay. just, just the wrap. Okay. I'd like, uh, um, I'd like the Greek uh, Eero. Just a sandwich also? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then can I do a... Uh, I'll do a strawberry... Well, wait. What's that? What is that? Peach? Strawberry lemonade? Pe pe peach. Yeah. Peach lemonade, please. Oh, the peach lemonade? Yes, please. And, and then get us one... Large. large. And then get one of those uh, sliders. Get the jalapeno roast beef. Order. I'm gonna get a couple more things here. Can I get two of the jalapeno roast beef sliders? Okay. And then let me try your chicken nuggets, the six piece. And what dipping sauce? Could you throw in a few of whatever, ranch, honey mustard, whatever you got? Uh, you want the ranch? I'll do ranch, honey mustard, barbecue. Okay. And extra horsey sauce. Just add my knee on the window. Okay. Okay. Is that it, baby? Okay. Yeah. Is that the order? Yeah, that, that'll, that'll, yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll okay, it, so you have a beef and cheddar, fried meal, large, curly fried with a large strawberry lemonade, a six piece mozzarella, a buffalo chicken wrap, a Greek hero, large peach lemonade, two jalapeno spider, and then the six piece nuggets with ranch, honey mustard, and a barbecue dipping sauce. That'll do me. Okay. Your total is 48.14. We will see you in the window. Okay? Thank you. 50 bucks. 
I am so mad. Not at the lady. She can't control it. But I try to do something nice for the viewers. I try to do something cool. I try to do something like, oh, I'm going to go try the new. And they ain't got it. How come I didn't? How you doing? Good night, Forte Okay. Thank you. How come I didn't know they got it? How many horses do you want? Give me like seven. Seven? That's horsey. Horsey and, and an Arby sauce, please. Uh, seven, seven? Yeah. It's like, how come this wasn't announced? Well, I'm, I mean, I don't get on Arby's uh, website. I'm sure they probably did announce it. That's something we got to start looking at. Hey, you need that drink holder? No, thank you. There's your peach, baby. Ooh. Thank you. Um. Thank you. Thank you. You gotta get that good stir mix on. There you go, baby. Thank you. Uh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I mean, I'm. I really wanted to be like, oh, let me try this. The new, you know. But let's not dwell on it. We do got y'all asked some really good questions on Instagram. You think we should get to one right now? Mmm. 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 That's good. I got a question. For me? Yeah. What is it? Who's got better strawberry lemonade, Arby's or Wendy's? I think Wendy's. You heard it here first. I'm going to say Wendy's. All right. You know what? And that leads into another uh, idea and plan. Hmm. Maybe we do a Wendy's. My last Wendy's mukbang was not good. Food no. was horrible. I don't like the menu. I'm not a Wendy's fan. Since they took care, took away the chicken go wraps, you're not a big fan. That's all I liked there. Yeah. That and Dave's big meat. <laughs> Dave was a manager at the Wendy's. Uh, I used to fuck him before I met Daryl. I used to fuck him too before I met you. <laughs> Baby. That's how we met. He's joking, but actually, I believe you. <laughs> I don't put it past his ass. He was in jail. That's how I He'll met He'll let him. anybody suck his dick. Mm. I, I believe you there, I, I wouldn't do it right now. Why? It's dusty and smells. Dusty. Have you ever had a dusty dick in your life? And it ain't I, dusty I, because it ain't been used. A time or two. It's dusty because <laughs> I was over there fucking rocks. On this bag, Mom, it's the jalapeno, the buffalo wrap, and then the tool slider, and your chicken tender classic. All right. And I wait for one more bag for Okay. You. And how many uh, bags do you have in my bag right Just one each. Hey, yeah. Hey, Jennifer, how you doing? I, I saw you a couple weeks ago. You just scared the shit out of her. Do you see the way she was looking at you? She was fucking scared. Mortified. Because <laughs> you said, hey, Jennifer. Baby, don't do that to people. What is, is that not her name? It is, but damn, you scared the shit out of her. I was just trying to be family. <laughs> y'all know, have y'all ever worked at a restaurant or a fast food place and you had a really creepy customer? <laughs> That's Daryl. And I'm sorry, I love you, baby. I love you. And he means he means nothing but kindness. And he really, he's, he's creepy, but he won't hurt you, you well, know? Well, and, and and but you are the creep. <laughs> that how is that a compliment? It's not. I am the creep. Maybe she's back there talking to all her, you all, remember, her you all her coworkers. She's like, you know, y'all remember that guy with the no hair on top? But he's back. That's what they're talking about right now. Trust me, I worked fast food for eight years. I know. Yeah. Well, I apologize to her when she comes back to the window. No. <laughs> Don't make it worse. Should we go in? No. Should Baby, let's just go. All right. well, you I, was at Arby's two weeks ago without me? Yeah. I tried. <laughs> yeah, I did. Did you really? I you did. tried the burger? Yeah. Who was you with? Yourself? Did you go with somebody? My dad. Well, how was the burger? Let everybody know. <laughs> well, I didn't have the burger. He did. I had the big Montana. You just sat there and said you had the burger, so you lied straight to my face. Am I wrong? Yeah, I made it up. 
the, the no. whole story or just well, the, kind of the whole story because my dad wasn't here two weeks ago was he Daryl why are you trying to you trying to piss me off and it's working hey I'm gonna go ahead and start getting into my food well hold on no Jennifer doesn't mind <clears throat> we're not even out of the driveway Daryl driveway yeah drive through no driveway. Do you want to try? It looks good, doesn't it? I'm not going to lie. That does not look appetizing. Show the camera. When you pull down your panties, I see the Daryl, same thing. Daryl, show them. That does not look appetizing. Look. Is, that your, is that your clit? <laughs> My clit's not white. It's pink. When's the last time you've seen it? I look at it all the time. I just spread it and I just make make sure it's still there. You know what? I know, you're right. What? It looks like the thing in the back of your throat. Open your mouth and let's see them. Show them. That's what it looks like. See that thing? Clip. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mad at me mm hmm Sometimes I sometimes I feel I feel nerve endings back there. That's why I like to suck dick. It's almost like a second clip for me. You know? I just get it in there and kind of tickle it. You hit it like a punching bag? Speed bag, actually. <clears throat> Did, um, yeah, I guess put I'll that put back it, in the bag okay. so it's not cold. Oh, I oh. Well. How long is this damn drive to? You scared the shit out of her. She ain't coming back. I think she clocked out. <laughs> she may have clocked out, Daryl. Damn. I can't wait to dig into my... uh classic roast beef and the mozzarella sticks we did not get our mozzarella sticks last month man. oh I freaked her yeah she's not coming back dude hey. well, what, what's that guy's name let me see if I remember him baby leave him alone okay leave him alone you have to get when over did, here get in camp when did the Arby's change their motto to when in doubt add bacon where are you seeing that at on the back of his shirt you look way too much into shit I didn't even notice his shirt. Yeah. Here she comes. Can you like my dinner house on that? Yes, please. One. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you. I'll see you soon. I told you she'd be back. She remembered me. You know. I think I was a, a pleasant guest last time I came. Baby, you are always a very pleasant guest. I, and that's what I was telling people. You don't mean no harm. Sometimes you just come off a little creepy. Mm. And you know you do. Well, that's... You know, it's... What, baby? It's just my nature. I know. You know, you gotta be proud of your culture. I think I've heard that somewhere before. All right, here we go. I'm moving my chair back. Now go ahead. Wow. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw the food at you. It's all right, baby. Mm. Mm. Let's answer one question before we dig in the food, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. What's your code, passcode? Five four nine six nine nine. Why don't you just say it? Why are you gonna tell everybody? They ain't gonna get a hold of your phone. I don't know. I leave it in mysterious places. All right. Let me answer a question here. Now, this is a good, good one to start off with, okay? Tammy! Have you ever shoved a corn cob up your pussy? No. How do you know? Because you... I don't think if you stuck a corn cob up there, you'd ever get the kernels out. Kernels out. That's true. 
Listen, but you have. I've done squash. I've done zucchinis. Hey. Cucumbers. Hey, Granny's Garden Yellow Squash. Granny's Garden Delight. <laughs> hey, hey. It felt so good. It tastes good later. <laughs> but never corn cobs. Right. I will admit that. Right. That's something we got to do, Daryl. All right. You're going to start as a potato with a potato first. That'd be good, yeah. Right, like a sweet potato? Yeah. Do you want one that has the little uh, sprouts coming out of it? <laughs> Maybe. All right. All right, I'm going to dig into this. Let, uh, baby, let's try our cheese sticks first. Wait. Okay, let's dig into those. Okay, is this mine? Yeah, I was going to get it out for you. Thank you. Yeah, All you, right. You want to put any sauce on it or anything? Off the bat, listen, this does not look appetizing. That does not look good to me. You got your bread. You got your roast beefs. You got some sort of sauce on there, cheese and sliced jalapenos. Here we go. Honestly, I'm not even impressed enough to take another bite. Want it? <laughs> Mm hmm. It what I mean. What if you put some horsey sauce on it? Maybe. Let's try these Arby's cheese sticks. Mm. Oh yeah. Didn't we not get them one time we were here? I don't think you need to tap it that many times. Don't tell me how, when to t when to tap in the quantity of tapping. It just seems nobody a excessive. Darryl, nobody does mukbangs like me. People watch for the taps. Well, you tapped it to the point where it broke the cheese stick. It's fine. All right. I just don't want you to have a cheesy leaking cheese stick. Baby, don't worry about my tapping. Okay. Dip it in some marinara. Mmm. Mmm. So I got the remnants of her uh, roast beef and Swiss jalapeno slider. I'm going to put a little dollop of okay. horsey sauce on it. This cheese stick is good. The outer crust is really buttery and it's, it's seasoned well. Okay. The inside, very creamy, very um, soft. It's a soft uh, cheese stick. The marinara was good. I'm gonna try a bite without the marinara. Mmm. Well, we almost don't even need sauce. Well, huh? I'll have to try one next. Mm -hmm. But I'd like you to give this one more try. I know you said you didn't feel like you'd give it another try. It's got the horsey sauce on it now. I know how you like the horsey. No, no, this bite right here. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Oh, okay. Horsey makes everything better. <laughs> so yeah, that does taste good now. <laughs> I will admit that. You're talking about this horsey, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think about? I don't know if there's a new style or something you learned. No, baby. Why was in jail a horsey style? No. All right. I'm gonna crack open another one of these fuckers. I'm gonna crack one open. It's leaking. Look at this. Look, look. There she I was wondering when she's gonna pop. Get a little closer. Ooh, Daryl did a twist. Look at that. Whoa! Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, sucking in. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Sorry. Girl! Sorry. Sorry. I didn't want to pull on your shirt.
Here. And I know everybody's going to ask about this shirt. Tammy and Daryl's Racing. Yes, we do sell these on my website, eatmytrash.com. I'll put the description. I'll put the link in the description. I made this for Daryl. So Daryl races, and I want him, him to have something. So we do sell these. That's pretty. Thank you, baby. It looks good. Let's answer another question. <clears throat> this is a great one. Daryl, she's going to need both of our advice. Hold on. All right. Timmy, I queefed at the dinner table with my boyfriend's parents. How do I recover? Well, was it your boyfriend or your soon-to-be father-in-law that caused the queef? They were at the dinner table, baby, and she just queefed. She just queefed. She just had some air built up? Yeah. Well, and her and her, her boyfriend's parents heard it. Well, I'm just wondering if they knew that it was her vagina or if they thought it was a butt fart. She said queef. She didn't specify that they thought it was a butt fart. So she queefed. So they knew it was they a queef. They knew it was a queef? Yeah. How does she recover? Are they like, it's like this, these parents, are they like queef whisperers? Queef, queef experts? <laughs> Baby, she, we're not set, we're not here to decide if it was a queef or they thought it was a queef. Let's just assume. Did it stink? Listen, let's assume they thought it was a queef. How does she recover? Is what she's wanting to know. Just tell them they should be proud of her their son that opened her up her walls to the point where she's just got plenty of air in there. Yeah, go ahead and tell them that. Man. Just text them and say, "Hey, just want to. I know y'all heard my queef the other night." I just want to let y'all know you should be proud because your son knocked my walls loose. That's something I would say. Yeah. To your parents. Exactly. And I would. Exactly. I really would. And and maybe maybe if y'all do anal, you'll have a gas problem. So. Right. Here's hey. Good luck with that. There's Daryl's. Uh, oh, this is my hero. That's your wrap. No, I don't know what that is. Oh, this wrap. is the chicken wrap. So. We've never had the chicken wrap here, so show them what it is, baby. Ooh, I will. Ooh, show, it's looking nice. Sh show them what's in there. All right, they didn't cut it all the way, so okay. it's... it's. It, <laughs> but Don't drop it. Buffalo chicken. So it's buffalo chicken with lettuce, and it looks onion. like... In, there's a little bit of onion, tomato. It's pro I don't know if there's ranch in there or not. I see ranch. Oh, you do? Okay. And okay. what kind of tortilla? That's uh, like a whole grain tortilla. I'm trying to get fancy on the tortilla. Here's my beef and cheddar. Baby, you want to go ahead and take a take, do a yeah. review of that first before I dig into my beef right, and cheddar. All right, here we go. And I don't like buffalo, so I will not be having that. You'll try it. No, I won't. No? Mm -hmm. Good? It's pretty good. I would prefer the chicken to be a little more crispy, but I don't know. It's got a pretty good flavor. All right, I got onions on my bun right here. Actually, let's do a uh, th thumbnail, baby. There we go. Okay. Where's that ranch? All right, here I go with my horsey sauce. Ready? If you don't know what horsey sauce is. <laughs> it's not what you get out of the end of a, <laughs> mm -hmm. a stallion. Damn, Daryl coming through hot with the bestiality jokes. Well, you know. No, it's horseradish. Farmers need love too. Huh? That's not funny. I don't condone fucking horses and shit. So that's not even funny. Don't even joke about that. It wasn't a joke. All right. My sandwich has got roast beef, cheddar, mmm, mmm, mmm. You can't beat one of these. Damn. Mm. Now, would these be good without the horsey sauce? To me, the horsey sauce makes them a 10. 
If you didn't have the horsey sauce, it'd probably be a two or three. Am I wrong? Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Do you want to give it a try? I mean, just if you want. I'll put a little ranch on it. If you, if you do. And even if you don't. I hate the taste of buffalo sauce, baby. I'll give it a small bite. Alright. There, see, it's more ranch. I the hate the taste of buffalo sauce. Because it's not overload. That's what I was thinking. That is is it's not like it. It's overpowering. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's answer another question. Let's do it. Tammy, why do I love watching you eat while I eat? That's really sweet. I got a friend, I know why. But. Well, I have so many people on Instagram that as soon as I film a mukbang, they post and they'll tag me and they're, they're watching a the mukbang and then they'll be eating too and it just makes me happy. It's fun. Yeah. <clears throat> We're just having a good time. Right. You know, honestly. We are. Mm. Man. We're just hanging out. Pretty good. When, I wonder when she uh, goes to eat if she's eating with somebody else while she watches you or she's just eating by herself. Probably both. Right? Because I, I read that sometimes the couples will watch us eat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Next question. <clears throat> Tammy. <clears throat> I can't get rid of my pussy odor. What oh. should I do? And... <laughs> I do wash. Your sister's the same way. <clears throat> you need to get you some of that uh, Dawn Tough dish soap that they clean the little birds with, with that's got the oil on there. Because what you do is you got you got some sort of stink down there that a regular Dove body wash can't can't tackle. You got some sort of fungus growing. You got some funk that's embedded in that shit. You got to understand something. A pussy, it stays moist. So it's constantly growing bacteria and shit, okay? So you got to use the hard shit. Don't get none of that uh, rose-scented body. That ain't going to do shit that for you. That just covers up. Exactly. That covers up the, the, the mold. You need to get you some... some to go to Lowe's and get you some of that grease fighter. You know what I'm talking about? Daryl has to buy that for me sometimes. Right. And get you some of that and just put a thin layer on there. I mean, just read the directions. And uh, that's what you need to really knock it out. You can finish it up with some simple green. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Mm. But mm. that ain't nothing to be ashamed hey, of. Hey, hey. Mm. There's somebody down down to take a taste. Mm-hmm. Oh, Daryl will probably eat your pussy. I mean, it could taste like pennies. It could taste like a shit house door on a tuna boat. Not that I've ever had a Mm. 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 You want another bite? Mm. We still got chicken nuggets mm -hmm. and your gyro. Yeah. God, I'm getting kind of full. I'm going to fight through. Mm. Did you get something else? Chicken nuggets. Oh, nuggets. Okay. Mm. You know what we should do? Mm. We'll do like a lady in a tramp. Uh, she shit. Like, we romantic. All right. fun. 
All right. Next question. Another pussy question. Damn. Tammy, does your pussy smell like bad shrimps hours after eating them? Because mine does. My pussy smells like whatever I eat. Me and Daryl actually play a game. Because if I eat something good, like a good, like a roast beef or mashed potatoes, something like that, <clears throat> Daryl's going to want to eat my pussy. Instead of a Let scratch and sniff, it's a, a tasting guest. Yeah. Daryl's going to want to eat my pussy later on because he's going to know he's going to basically get seconds. He's going he's gonna to have the roast beef and mashed potato meal, and then later on he's going to have that exact same thing in between my legs. And sometimes when I've been away from him all day, I'll go home and he'll eat my pussy, and he likes to play this game where he tries to guess what I had for lunch. And nine times out of ten, you're right. Nine times out of ten, he knows. I just have a gift. Exactly what I had for lunch. So, but yeah, if I have, especially if I have shrimps. If I have shrimps, them motherfuckers are going to be coming through my pussy. They're going to be dancing out of my pussy and into his mouth. Remember, remember the chicken, asparagus, and broccoli with corn and uh, carrot medley? Yeah, you, you, you nailed every vegetable I had. Every single fucking <clears throat> one. God! <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh. oh. Sorry. It was. I don't want to talk about nothing. It was a little. I don't need to know what it was. All right. I'm sorry. Let's move on. Okay. All right. I'm going to dig into these chicken nuggets and I'm going to answer another question. All right. Oh, I'll, 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 uh, I'll answer one, or ask one. Can we try it? Oh, here, I'll get the nuggets for you. Here you go. I've never gotten nuggets from, from, uh, what's it called? Arby's. Arby's before. All right, so you ate all the ranch, but here's my... Oh, here. There's still some. There's still some? All right. Here's the nuggets. First off, they come in this little fry case. <clears throat> Not that appetizing. I, I wouldn't look at this and be like, ooh, let me try those. I mean, you expect like a little like container or something, but it's fine. Okay. Was your, honey did your finger get stuck? No, Daryl. Honey mustard. Here, I'll help you. You got it over here. Okay. Mm. 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 That crunch, I heard it. You heard it? I heard it. Now listen, this is I'm not going to lie. This is pretty good. Is that like you feel like it's the best thing you've had so far? Well, it, you hear that? Honey mustard's good. All right, I'd like, here, we'll wait on this. Here, baby. And we'll do that together. I'll try one. Let's see. Let's see. Look at that. It looks like a little chicken. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, eh. I already showed them the honey mustard. Man, that crunch. You don't think chicken nuggets when you come to Arby's. <clears throat> you know, you think you think roast beef. You don't think chicken nuggets. Mm. And they're so big, they're kind of like mini chicken strips. I have to say, some of the best chicken nuggets, nuggets I've had. Fast food wise, for sure. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. They got the...
They got the crunch tied up on that. Well, and thank God those are fresh. Yes. Those they're are not, fresh. They're not stale. All right. Did you show them the, the moistness of the chicken? No, I didn't. At the bite? <clears throat> Here, look. There you go. Uh, yeah. Next question. Tammy, how often do you and should you shower? I vote every other day. But is that wrong? <clears throat> Here's my take on that. I don't think anything's wrong. Um, most things, you know. I usually shower every day. Now, if I got the weekend off and I ain't got nothing to do all weekend and I'm just laying in bed watching TV for two or three days straight, guess who's not taking a shower for those two or three days? Me. Why? If I'm not leaving the house, I, I, you know, or I, doing nothing, I, I think it's based on the level of activity. There, if, that's if, what I'm if, saying. If you feel like you've done enough to take, need to take a shower, then take a shower. If not, you if know, you start to smell your own asshole, it's time to take a shower. And some folks, myself, you know, what? You just do what you do. You know, do what if, makes if you, you happy. If you stink, then then you know. Hey, punish somebody. Huh? Yeah. Just carry that odor around. Spread it. But then you're 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 bothering innocent people that don't want to smell you. Well. You're now you're talking crazy. I say it'd be fine to go every other day. Because think about it. If I took a shower yesterday, but I hadn't taken one today yet, I don't stink. Well. What? I stink? I get a little I got a little whiff. Well, because I've been active today. What, did, what, you, what is, did you do? Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Your level of activity was enough to get. Your some... level of activity is gonna is gonna is gonna choose when you take a shower. Is what, what I'm trying to say. So you got a little build up, funk. Okay. Next question. Yeah. Tammy, have you ever thought about releasing your very own? Trailer Trash Tammy Cookbook. Yes, I have. Um, I'd love to. I'm still working on some uh, some uh, uh, recipes. I'm still working on that. Okay, but um, but one day, yeah, that's a dream of mine. What would it be called? Something like Cooking with Tammy, or. Uh, Tammy's recipes or something cool. Tammy's, like. Tammy's table tidbits. <laughs> That's a good one. Welcome to Tammy's table, something like that. Yeah, I like Tammy's table. I'm serving up that yeah hot mess of stuff coming out between my oven. All right, let's try your gyro because I'm done eating, baby. All right. Well, if you're go. full, you don't gotta eat the whole thing. You can save it for lunch tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But at least try it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this is my baby's gyro or gyro. I don't know how to pronounce it. Hero. The meat does not look good. I will say that. I wonder is it? It smells is good. It, is it beef? It's beef. It smells really good, but it don't look good. You wanna try the piece of meat? Show them the meat. Okay. That's the meat. That looks. Uh... They don't tell me you're gonna look at that and go, mmm, because you're not. That looks like a little brutalized meat. Somebody, okay, baby, try it. Somebody took care of business on that. <laughs> All right, here <coughs> While we go. While he's trying that, I'm gonna answer another question. Here we go. No, wait. Okay. I'm, I'm on the seat. Okay, baby. Is this the bread? Is it like pita? Is it? Is that what do you? What is? It? I think so. Well, the bread, the bread's good, really good. I load it with meat. Lettuce. Got tomatoes, lettuce. Red. Red onion. Uh, Some sort of sauce. Yeah, it's a hero sauce. It's 
pretty good. I mean, I'm sure there's better out there. But hey, if you're into oh, heroes, one to ten. I give it a uh, five and a half. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Last question. And you guys, please go follow us on Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna go put the uh, all the uh, info below. Go follow me on all my social medias because I do post other stuff on other platforms. Okay. Yes, I am the mukbang queen on YouTube, but on other platforms, I dominate those as well with different content. I don't post mukbangs on there. I do other stuff. Okay. Yeah, like comment or I mean subscribe. Uh, uh, this uh, last question is, <clears throat> Cammy. Somebody hit a parked car. Tammy, would you ever do a motivational speaking type cinema? Yeah, I would. You know, I've got a lot to say. And the words that are in my head are uh, very, well, I don't want to say brilliant, but they are. I think you'd be phenomenal at it. Thank you, baby. You motivate me to do better. Thank you, baby. Can y'all tell the difference between <clears throat> the first few mukbangs he was in to now in terms of cleanliness? That's me motivating him. Yep. Here, I want to motivate you to take a piece of this meat. No, baby. This, I, this meat. I don't want that. You want to try it? No, baby. You want the whole thing? No. You're done. I'm done. I'm full. You've had enough? I've had enough. Well, this is a long mukbang. I want to tell you, um, I want to tell you something. I want to tell y'all thank you for if you stayed this long and watched the video, and uh, you know, like and subscribe and comment down below because I do read the comments. He does. He does. He you know? he's always screenshotting them to me and say, "Baby, look at this one. Look at this one." Right. And I say, "Baby, so, I get on there. I see them." <laughs> right. Exactly. <clears throat> so we you know, love you. We love you. Honestly, appreciate you. We appreciate you and we love you. Tell me where you want to see us eat next. I look forward to uh, going wherever, you know, you say you'd like us to try, you know? Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.